Well, hello there, it's me again. Sorry it hasn't been a video in a while, but as I haven't done a collection video for quite some time, I thought I'd do that. Previously I've done um, a PlayStation 1, 2 and 3 collection. I will do my PSP collection at some point, but for now I'll just get started with a different collection altogether, my NES collection. Now, I haven't been collecting them for too long, I've only got 9 games in total so far. Yeah, I know, it's not a massive collection, but what are you going to do? I am planning on building up eventually, but just I have a little system to collect for, so I can't collect one system at one time. I have to collect each individually. So, let's get started. First, I have this one. Batman by Sunsoft. I have the, the box for it, all complete, with instructions and everything. Now I have played a bit of it, it's not a bad game actually, it's a pretty good Batman game which I'm not sure where to rank it when it comes to uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, I'm not sure where to rank it up to but uh, but this one for, for its time is not a bad game yeah, one of the few good Batman games so if you can get your hands on it go ahead, it's worth it okay next one we have The Adventures of Bayou Billy or Bayou or Bayou or sorry for the condition that's how I bought it now originally it just came like this but I, I bought a sleeve to go with it so what have I played with it so far first impressions I don't really like the game I know it's made by Konami it's, it, there's some, some bits of good but it looks promising enough, but to be honest, I don't particularly like it. I mean, I'll probably do a review of this eventually, so look out for that. But I wouldn't highly recommend that game. That's just loose, by the way. Next, we have the Bugs Bunny Blowout. In America, it's called Birthday Blowout, but for some reason here, it's called just Blowout. Made by Chemco, and also I have the box for that as well. All complete with instructions and everything. That's not too bad. And well, it's not a great game, but it's not a terrible game. It's just it's a not, it's a playable game if you want an easy game to complete on the NES. And here you go. Just pop it in, you'll beat it pretty easily. You've got to get loads of lot extra lives. It's quite long. I haven't managed to complete it, but I just got bored. I just turned it off because it went, it's going on forever. Okay. Now here's quite a popular one, which I'm sure many of you would have or like to add to your collection. DuckTales by Capcom. Yeah, I got this game recently and once again I've got it in the box. Not completely, it has got the instruction, it has got that uh, thing at the bottom. Uh, you know, thing. So, what do I think of it? Well, I've only played a little bit of it, but what have I played? It seems pretty good. The music's great, I have to say. It's great. Great music and gameplay is really good. So can't wait to play a bit more of that when I get a chance. So that's a pretty good game. So definitely get that if you can. Got that for about six quid. So it wasn't too bad. Next we have Gremlins again, again by Sunsoft. I think I got this for about three quid with the sleeve. But that's as much as I can remember. Now I haven't watched the films and played a bit of the game. It doesn't seem too bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's as good as Batman, but then again, it's it's a decent game. Actually, you like some soft games, you like this one, and the music's not too bad either. So, yet to play more of this, but if if you can get a good price, get it. And here, quite a hard one to get and quite popular is Mega Man Two. Not by Capcom. I haven't played played the first one except on emulator. So got this for about eight quid just for the cartridge itself and the board sleeve separately again. I've played a bit of it. It is challenging, I would say, but it's well, it's, it's a, it seems a fun game. Great music again. Great gameplay. It's just a great game in general. So if you can get your hands on it. Trust me, it's pretty hard to get hands on a, on a cheap, cheapish copy. Then get your hand, then buy it. 
add it to your collection if you already haven't have it. If you haven't got it already, then there's something wrong with you. Possibly, but that's just my opinion. Next, we have a game that came with the console. By the way, I own the box of the NES. Just let you know. And with it, I've got Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, two in one game. Yep, so Super Mario Brothers is a great classic. Started the series off. I mean, there was the Mario Brothers and the Donkey Kong game, but the Super Mario series, that's where it started off. So that's a great game. Yep, if you, if you haven't played that, then you're a Mario fan. Why did you call yourself a Mario fan if you have not played the first game? I don't know. Now, Duck Hunt, I've had a go, it's not a bad game. The dog's annoying, you just want to kill it, but... Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good package. If you can get, you can get these fairly cheaply. Um, and I've got a sleeve to go with it as well. So, put that back away, and there. And next we have Super Mario Bros. 3. And I know that it's a pretty damaged book, and it's, and it's cracked there. I'm not sure if you can see in the light. You might just be able to see it. Now, I ordered it from eBay for about three quid, which came with the box. But it's it's not complete yet, because I haven't got instructions, and I had to buy the sleeve, sleeve separately. Uh, the box is in, in great condition, but it's not too bad. A few quid for that, so. What I've played a bit so far, it is a pretty good game. So, if you're a Mario Bros fan, you have to get that. Okay. And, well, right Last but not least, and this is one of my most interesting items, I have Solar Jetman, but it's sealed. Never been opened. From what I can tell, anyway. It's got the address of Nintendo there. Just about to see it. Now it's supposed to be a hard game, but for the time the graphics are supposed to be great. So I've seen this for about five quid cartridge, and I got this the sealed and everything for about a fiver, which is worth used about twenty. Just in case you're wondering, it's so not a bad find. So if I haven't played it yet, maybe one day I'll open it to see if it's any good. But until then, well, I'll just have to keep. I'll just keep it sealed until I decide to open it and play it. So that's all the NES games I've got at the moment. Nine. Not much, but if you, for, for starting collection, it's not too bad. It could be worse, I suppose. So, well, more collection videos coming soon, and I'm sorry it hasn't been reviewing like since Christmas or just before. So I, I'm planning new videos, more reviews, and more collections. So if there's anything you think I can do to improve, you can just see my head throughout the video. Do you want to see me like that, or that, or... You can't see me at all! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hope you enjoyed this collection video, and until next time, keep playing, but not play crap. Good night.